Hello everybody, what is up? It's Eddie and Eddie, and welcome to the start of our Brighton and Hove Albion career mode. Hope you guys will go on to enjoy this series. If you guys will, make sure to drop a like and subscribe on it. That'll be appreciated. But anyway, let's get into how um, I'm going to sort out my match settings. So, obviously, we're going to be playing on legendary difficulty. Five minutes each half. Um, you're, uh, no, Ster Sterling, so obviously we are in England. Uh, strict, obviously we are in the Europa League with a tough group, Ajax, Marseille and Athens. Hopefully, uh, we can do well. But now what we're going to do, we're going to go and assess the squad. I am going to disable the transfer window. I'm going to assess the squad, talk about it, you know, sort out Youth Academy, etc. Hope you enjoy if you've done a tactical vision, I think it's all obvious what I want to play at Brighton is the Tiki Taka playstyle. I want us to be a really good attacking team. Win, lose or draw, I want us to absolutely, you know, dominate the ball and, um, yeah, hopefully we can do well. In terms of what the board expect us to achieve this in Youth Academy is definitely going to be important. That will be easily ticked off. Uh, Brandon was on one veteran player. Let me know in the comments if any veteran players... Um, that could potentially sun that would be fairly realistic. Europa League reached the final. That will be difficult, but we'll obviously try our best. To basically finish mid-table and reach the FA Cup. I actually want to try and aim for European football with this side again. And financial reduced players wage by 8.5k a week. Yeah. Okay, let's go and assess the squad here that we have got with Brighton. So, we have got a lot of goalkeepers here. Six goalkeepers, three of them out on loan, three of them at the club. We've got Jason Steele. Uh, we got Tom McGill, Sherpin, who is out on loan uh, in Austria, I believe that is. We got Verbergen. We got Rushworth, he's out on loan at Swansea. And we got James Beadle. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the goal kit in the bottom. I think obviously Verbergen and Steele be our number, you know, competing each other for that number one spot. Um, obviously Rushworth, I do have uh, hopes for as well as B, uh, as well as Beadle as well. Really means 6 4 8 at 18 is pretty good. In turn, the left back point, we've only got two left back at the club, Estupinian and uh, Samuels. In terms for our defenders, we've got a few defenders at the club, Lewis Dunk, Adam Webster, Igor and Van Heck, as well as Ed Turns and uh, Offe, who is out on loan. In terms of the right back point, we've got Joel Veltman and Tyrick Lamptey. In terms of our midfielders, uh, as we go into the DM department, we've got Billy Gilmore and um, Hinge... Uh, Hinchelwood. <laughs> we've got uh, Kolowoski out on loan at Vitesse. In our winger department, we've got three really good left midfielders here in Encisio, Matoma, and Simon Adringa, who is uh, who I really am looking forward to using. In terms of our midfielders, we've got so many centre mids, as you guys can see here. We've got James Milner, who should be technically classed as the veteran. Um, Pascal Gross, who is a loved man at Brighton. Uh, Mohamed Dahoud. We've got Alzate out on loan at Standard Lige. We've got Jakob Modder, who in real life suffering from uh, a really big injury, but he should be back with us. We've got J uh, Jensen Weir out on loan at Blackpool. We've got Yassin Ayari out on loan at Coventry. We've got Mark Leonard out on loan at Northampton. We've got new signing at Bella Bar, who, start, who will probably play for us a lot this season. Got really high potential joining from Lille. In terms of our attacking midfielders, we've got Adam Lana, who is retiring at the end of the season. We've got Jamie Mullins as well, who's not 18 years of age at 58 rated. We've got Andrew Moran, who's out on loan at Blackburn. Uh, Pup uh, Pupon. Pupion, uh, a Aust uh, Australian uh, centre-attacker midfielder who's on loan at Cheltenham. In terms of our right midfielder department, we've got Brunato, uh, great young Argentinian wide man. We've got Sarmentino out on loan at West Brom. Solly March, another long-serving player. Ansu Fati, who's on loan to us from Barcelona. And in terms of to end off, we've got strikers of Abdullah Simmer, uh, Evan Ferguson, João Pedro, Dennis Undav on loan at Stuttgart, and Danny Weldbeck. Right, what I'm going to do now, sort out development plans. And yeah. In terms of our youth scouts, um, in terms of where we're going to send them, uh, obviously we're going to go to England, because that's one of the main nationalities I want us to stay in. Um, you know, obviously always bringing in English-born talent, local talent. In terms of what, I'm tempted to go to, like, South America somewhere, and I think I'm going to go with... Um, I'm tempted by somewhere like Colombia and Venezuela. I think I'm going to go Venezuela, a bit of an interesting one. And for the final one, I'm going to go to Africa. And I'm going to go and look for some... 
Garnan players. Yeah, let's go Garner. We've got our first set of monthly scouting reports to come back. Hopefully, we can get somebody good from Ghana or England. Uh, so far, it didn't look like Ghana bringing us any talent. Okay, Emmanuel Davis. Um, I'm going to promote and a pyre. I'll actually leave you there, okay, because you are only 15. Uh, let's go in at two. But Venezuela, okay. Uh, that's not a bad one. I'm scared about pronouncing that name, though, if he does end up being a talent for us. Uh, unfortunately, only the one from Venezuela. Board already happy about you, developer. We're already doing a great job. Uh, Aiden Reeve. Uh, uh, Jay Jacobs. He looks good. And um, Luke Butcher. I'm going to leave there. Okay, so we're going to get into this first game of the Premier League season here with uh, Brighton as we take on Luton Town. Uh, I haven't decided to make too many changes with the generic line apart from one. Adam Lallana comes in to play Shao Pedro. Uh, I won't see what Adam Lallana's about. But anyway, let's get right into this game here. Our first game of the season with this team, with us. And hopefully we can uh, replicate what Brighton did in real life. They absolutely tore Luton a new one. I believe, what was it, 4-1 or something? Fantastic win for them. But anyway, let's get in this game. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can pick up a positive result. Come on, Brighton. Let's go. Here from Luton. Luton now with their first chance of the game here with Chase. Child, they deliver a ball. Now Bayo chests it. And it's a good save in the end from Steele. The first shot of the game. Save from Jason Steele. Luton posing an early threat. Ten minutes in here from the corner. As they've got one, they're going to try and whip the ball in. They try to rise high. We get rid of it. Oh, it's lovely. Knocked down the inside. They drill it across. Shot taken. Blocks the way through. And somehow it finds its way in. It's 1-0 Luton Town. Not an ideal start. Oh, great inception there. Messed up in Jan. Into Gross. Into March. Lalana. Oh, beautiful pass there from Lalana. Cross with the strike. Good save from Kaminsky. Really? Now that is the football I want us to play. Adam Lalana done really well. And we're already pressing Luton as we try to win it off them with Danny Welbeck, who squares it across. It's cross for 1 1. And he's done it. Mistake from Luton round the back. We kept our high line. And we managed to make it 1 1. And the legend of Brighton. Well, I'd argue a legend anyway. He's been loved by the fans. And it's 1 1. Let's go. Come on. Does well, Welbeck sees Solly March. Master may make it 2-1. And he absolutely fluffs his lines. Great chance there for Solly March. Should arguably be 2-1, but unfortunately just wide. And that's half time. Not an unbelievable first half from us. Obviously, I'm still getting used to this Brighton team and still obviously trying to decide my obviously 11, but 1-1 as we go into the break. Us. Field, oh lovely play there from March. Finds Gross into Welbeck. Welbeck for 2-1. Great football there from Brighton. That's what we want to see. Danny Welbeck, his first Premier League goal of the season. 2-1 Brighton after going 1-0 behind. Great play there to uh, turn it around. 2-1 to the Albion. Let's go. Gross might be able to get a shot off and he does. Good save from Kaminsky. Matoma, dink that ball in. Lalana flicking it on again. Gross, it's three. It's just easy. It's a brace there for Alexander. I think it... No, Pascal Gross, not Alexander. Pascal Gross, 3-1 Brighton. Hopefully, our first three points of the season. He's going to cut back. Sees a man in the middle. Teeing up on the edge of the box. Into Pascal Gross for his hat-trick. Oh, it's off the post. Almost a hat-trick for Pascal Gross. Comes off the post. And there we have it. First Premier League game of the season. Our first three points. Let's go Brighton. A fantastic start to the series. And we win 3-1. Came close for Pascal Gross to get a hat-trick. But a great start to the series. Let's go. The second game of the episode here is going to be... We're going to travel to the West Midlands to take on Wolverhampton Wanderers. Um, a few changes, surprisingly, which I don't think... I don't know how you guys react to it. Ansu Fati makes his first start for us as well. Um, and Igor as well comes in in defence place. Webster, uh, just low on fitness for Webster and um, Adam Lalana. But apart from that, really happy with how the team's done. And hopefully we can do well here against Wolverhampton Wanderers, who we all know have got some dangerous players, especially in their attack. You know, Neto, Huang, you know, Matthias Jr. Um, you know, even in their defence as well, five at the back, going to be tough to break down. But I believe if we continue playing our usual game, we can win this. 
Getting down the right, left side. Solly March, we're going to have to cut in and then maybe try and bend a shot. It's a great effort and a great save. Anthony Fatou trying to hit the ball in. Great save there from Bentley. Almost 1-0 Brighton. Tomo and with Fatty. Great link up play. Ansu Fatty now versus Bentley. Ansu Fatty has made it 1 0. His first goal for Brighton. Let's go. Come on. 1 0 away to Wolves. It's been a really difficult game to break down with the Hampton Wanderers, but we have broken them down here through some lovely build up play between Matoma and Ansu Fatty. Matoma plays the ball into Fatty. Fatty, full power, near post, outside the foot shot, roof of the net. Bang. 1 0, Brian. That looks like it is going to be it. Half-time, 1-0 to Brighton. It looks like an injury concern, though, to uh, a Wolverhampton Wanderers player right there. But a really good performance from Brighton. And we leave 1-0. It's a March. Chance here for us, maybe. Cross. Well, Beck blocks. It's going to fall to Fatty. Save. Close. Chance here, maybe, for Wolves. Yeah, edge of the box. Try and play on the inside. Challenge, definitely. You're an important challenge. Matoma needs options in field. Gloss. He's going to go for it. Pascal. And straight in the hands of the keeper. Okay, I go with not the best of challenge right there on the halfway line on Pedro Neto. What's going to be the punishment here? And we are down to 10. We've got a red card. Our Brazilian defender has been sent off. We're going to make ourselves a quick change. Uh, we are going to bring on Adam Webster. That is not ideal from us whatsoever. With, um, you know, a few minutes remain. I got just lunged in for the challenge. Stupid from me. Um, and it is a red card. Chance for us. Ferguson. Dahoud. Played in down the left side. Mohamed Dahoud. Ball played in to Pascal Cross. Played across one more. Solly March. Game over. 2-0 Brighton. Back-to-back -back wins. Come on. What a result here. What a performance. Loving playing with this team. Fantastic. 2-0 Brighton. Let's go. In the final game of the episode here, we're going to be taking on the Hammers. I'm trying to get through a month every episode, if anybody is curious. Uh, but yeah, obviously West Ham, in terms of FIFA, they've got a really good team. Obviously players like Alvarez, Paqueta, Bowen, really high rated players. Even in real life, they've got some absolute class players, you know, which they are. Uh, anyway, this team is going to go a couple of changes. Webster comes in for the suspended... Um, uh, suspended Igor, Milner comes in to replace Gloss, and Evan Ferguson comes in to replace uh, Danny Welbeck. But anyway, let's take on West Ham, and hopefully, can we make it three wins from three? Let's go. Come on, Brighton. Brighton, Matoma, Ferguson, allowed to latch onto it. The press has really worked out well. Matoma into March. Block from Ogbonna. Chance here for West Ham. There may be in Mikel Antonio. Veltman's not the quickest. Antonio, lovely back here to find Pagueta. Oh, this is lovely football. And it's saved from Steele. West Ham, really good stuff right there. Oh, and Sufati, beautiful. Into the Matoma. Matoma's in. Matoma. Matoma. Oh, it's a great save from Fabianski. Both teams coming really close here. Really good football being played. Lovely play by Ansu Fati to see the run of Matoma. Great effort and a great save there for Lucas Fabianski. Corner. March. Ball in. Dunk. Knocked away. Falls off here to Milner. Going to try it. No. Oh, blocked. Chance here, maybe. Yeah, chance here for West Ham. Bowen rips the ball in. Dunk hooks it away. But the Milner goes down. Change there for Alvarez. And we win ourselves a lay free kick here. I think we're going to try and maybe just whip in this ball and see if we can get anything from it. Milner floats that ball in. It's not a bad delivery. And the header is absolutely horrid. Uh, nil nil half time. So they're through here down the left side. West Ham Antonio. Into the path of Pagueta. Knocked off. They've still got it here, the Hammers. Shot from distance. Wide. Chance here for West Ham. Edge of the box. Playing it round. Connor Coventry. Infield shot. And really close to Pagueta with 25 minutes left. We're going to make ourselves some changes. Jao Pedro is going to come on to play seven. Ferguson. 
Um, we're also going to bring on Adam Lalana to replace James Milner. And I'm also going to bring on um, uh, Adingra to replace Fatty. So, yeah, triple chain for us here. We need it. We need something. I mean, Brighton, Matoma, the substitute. Adlinga with the strike. And really nice football again from Brian Brighton. The best we've shown throughout this half. And a really great save. Substitution here for West Ham. March from the corner. Whips the ball in. Dunk knocked away. You know what? We're going to try this with Lalana, who hits it. Another great save from Fabianski. Okay. We played daddy time, but there is going to be one last chance here, maybe for West Ham. Substitution here, Michael Antonio comes off, and they're going to bring on Danny Ings. Right, okay, here we go. They're going to go for this ball into the box. They are going to aim for it, and steal easy. Full time, nil-nil. So to end off the episode here, we are sitting at fifth in the league with two wins and one draw. But anyway, hope you guys have enjoyed this video on the channel. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like, subscribe. Before we actually end off, we're going to go to our calendar. And in the next episode, we've got a pretty big episode. We've got Newcastle, United, Athens, Bournemouth, Villa in the Cup, and then Villa again. We'll probably simulate this game against Villa. But anyway, um, have a great day, everybody. See you all soon.